Welcome to the Ultramixer short walkthrough. This should give you an overview about the features you will find in Ultramixer. When you first start up Ultramixer Professional or Ultramixer Professional Demo, you will see this screen. The first thing you might want to do is playing back a music file. Nothing easier than that. Just click on plus file navigate to your music folder, select the file and click on open. That's it. The file is automatically loaded into the playlist and into the player since there's nothing, no other file than this one. So and just click on play to actually play the file. You might want to wind forward or backward. Let's use the search bar. You can do some pitching in time shifting or in pitching. Both changes the speed and the, the pitch one changes the, the pitch as well and the time one doesn't change the, the pitch. As you can see the, um, the BPM counter moves along with the pitch. So we need an, a second file on the second track. So just click on plus file. Another one. Add the file, select the file and open again. Okay. It's loaded. And just play it. And we can do some cross shading between those both. What we can do is change the pitch until it matches speed. So that better algorithm to calculate the BPMs. So select this icon here, select BPM, select this item, select BPM. So what we do is offline calculation of the BPM, of the beats per minute in the file. So offline calculating runs for the first file. For the second file, it starts immediately. So we have two different BPM values here, 128, 133. If we load up both by double clicking here, so it loads new and here double click it loads new so and we see the values are changed. So another important thing what you might have realized is um, this file was quite silent and this file was quite loud. So the important thing is the normalization. What we have to do is either we have to do it on by hand, that means changing the volume and so on, or we do it in advance. So that means we calculate a normalization value over the file. Normalization algorithm the good thing is the normalization algorithm doesn't change anything to the file. It just if you click here and click here, just changes the the gain values. So
and the both run equally we just change this thing use the scroll um, wheel on your mouse to fine tune the values 